Hey Tube, Vinny M here and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Virtue Vio Ascend mask and discussing if it's actually safe to use this for airsoft. Most people automatically assume a paintball mask is perfectly okay to use for airsoft because if it's good enough for paintball, why wouldn't it be? But the part that most people miss is that sometimes BBs can get through these little holes in these masks because they're not made to stop a little tiny BB, they're made to stop a big round paintball. So sometimes paintball masks have vent holes in them that are big enough for airsoft BBs to still get through and hurt you. And nobody ever talks about this. You can look and look and look at videos on this mask and you'll never find one person tell you if it's safe to use for airsoft. It's marketed as a paintball mask and that's all people ever talk about. But in today's world, paintball and airsoft are about equally as popular depending on where you live. And a ton of airsofters, especially speedsoft players, would rather wear a paintball mask to play airsoft in than your typical kind of fast helmet and goggles and mask combination. So this is something that needs to be talked about. So as far as the Ascend goes, it's a really nice mask. It's made of a pliable, bendable rubber. Everything that's brown is rubber. Everything that's black is hard, solid material. So the black is what gives it structure. And then the tan part gives you protection while still allowing you to get down on the sights of your gun and uh, be able to, you know, put your cheek on the stock of your gun and this will bend so that uh, you can see. It still gives you a range of movement, essentially. Has a dual pane thermal lens, removable quick change foam system, so when the foam wears out you can change it. Single strap with the silicone on it to hold it on your head, and then it has a tin strap so that if you fall it doesn't get pulled up and off of your head. Huge ventilation surface on the top and inside down here, much like the Die i5. You can also put a camera on top of this mask, a GoPro, with this little HK Army mount here. This HK Army mount specifically will fit this mask. Separate video on this coming soon. So, let's jump right into it and see if it's safe to use for airsoft. So the first thing we want to do is take an airsoft BB and identify any holes that are actually big enough for this to get through. So if we kind of go around the side of the mask, putting it in these places and pushing, it's not going through any of these places. It almost goes through that one, but it doesn't. On the nose bridge, it's not going through any of those. On the edge of the grill, none of these. Nope. Center of the grill, oh, yep, went right through. All right, so kind of identify that down the center. Will it go through at the top? Nope. Next one down? Nope. Third one down? Yep. So it'll go through starting at the third space down, dead in the center. Uh, all of those look big enough. Let's go to the bottom. It won't go through the very bottom one. It'll go in the second to bottom one. So from right here to right here, just these two center runs it can get through and we know it won't get through that because it's the same all that's the same so there is about a one inch by two inch long space dead in line with your teeth nose and lips that a bb it will fit through i'm not having to push all that hard to get it to go through because that mask is rubbery so what happens is as you push it simply just moves the material out of the way I don't know if you can see that. All right. Let's test it, test it. Now that we know for a fact that you can physically with your hand push a BB through this center portion on the front grill of the Virtue Vio Ascend, we need to see if a BB will go through it under normal circumstances. And what I mean by that is when it's actually being shot at by an airsoft gun. What are the odds that it blocks it versus the odds that it goes through? So to test that theory, we're gonna put the mask in this box right here. I'm gonna kinda of tuck the box in a little bit. 
so that BBs can't escape the box. We're going to shoot the grill of this with a little 200 foot a second green gas airsoft pistol. It holds seven rounds. And we're going to see how many of the BBs wind up in the box and how many of them are deflected back out towards me. I will have on another mask for this. So I'm going to kind of get this box buttoned up, pause the video, and we'll be right back. All right, so have all that buttoned up. We're going to kind of push it back to the edge of the table. The only thing exposed on the mask is the grill. And I put a bandana in here that should keep the BBs from popping back out. So seven shots kind of just offhand at the grill. And that's all seven. Now I know I got hit by a few of those, but I can also tell a few of those went through. So let's see how many I can find in the floor afterwards. But first, without pausing the camera, we're going to go for the box so nobody can say I'm lying about how many were in the box. Alright, there's none hiding out in the mask. It looks like we have three in the box. One, two, and three. So seven point blank shots at the grill of the mask. Three of them went through. So it is possible for BBs to get through this grill and hit you in the lips, teeth, and nose. So let's just confirm that three is the total number that got through by seeing how many were deflected back at me. Give me a second to count this up. So two of them were actually on my shirt and two were in the floor under my feet. So right there are four, five, six, seven. So that's all of them because the gun only held seven. So it let almost half of them through. I mean, you can't really divide seven by two, but it let through three and it stopped four. So it only stopped about half of them. So in that testing, BBs can get through the front of the Virtue Vio Ascend. Now the question that I have to answer, unfortunately, is how much power do they have when they make it through? All right, so we have the chronograph set up. We have our gun regassed. Again, about 200 foot a second with 0 .20 BBs out of this little thing. If you're curious, this is the HFC Combat Commander. It's like a $25 green gas pistol. And what we're gonna do first is I'm actually just gonna put my hand behind the grill of the mask and I'm gonna see how bad it hurts shooting through it and see if it leaves a mark on my hand. And that'll give me a really good indication of what it's gonna feel like if it hit my lips or teeth if I was wearing this in a game. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll try to chrono by shooting through it and see how much power this thing still has once it makes it through. So, got a feeling this ain't going to feel real great, guys. Oof. Yeah, negative. That doesn't feel good. It didn't really leave a mark. It hit me right there. Uh, yeah, that's still got some heat behind it. I'm going to say that's at least like 125 foot a second still. We'll see. I'll take the mag out and put that BB back. And uh, we'll go from there. This has a really weird magazine where it doesn't capture the BBs. They can roll right back out. So you have to basically do a magic trick to load it. All right, let's see what we get on the chrono, if that's even possible. Maybe, oh yeah. Yeah, we can, we should be able to pull this off. Pull some trickery here. There we go, finally got one to go through. Still traveling at 93.1 foot a second. So, 
Yeah, you don't want to get hit in the teeth with that, or lips, because your lips and your teeth are uh, going to be sensitive to getting hit with a hard object going just about any speed, but definitely still almost 100 feet a second. And you can see the gun itself was at 137.3 after using that much gas. So we're really not seeing a lot of drop in the FPS after it goes through the mask. Mm. Interesting. So at this point, we've definitively proven that a BB can get through the Virtue Vio Ascend mask. However, that doesn't mean you can't use it. I've come up with a couple different ways that you could mitigate this risk of a BB getting through and hitting you in the teeth. Ultimately, this is the solution I chose for my personal mask. I use some 275 paracord. This is not 550 paracord. It is a smaller diameter paracord and it is actually called 275 so I used some 275 paracord I kind of just did a crisscross through those holes and then tied it on the inside at the bottom I just put a little square knot in it and then to make sure the knot didn't come undone I use some super fabric adhesive from Walmart to glue it into place. So now there is no way BBs are going to go through here because the holes have essentially been closed up, but they're still open for ventilation as far as breathing, but they're now too small with the cord going through them for a BB to get past them. And there's no risk of this coming undone. This uh, fabric adhesive is really strong stuff. And I coated the cord before I tied it, so not only is there glue on the outside of the knot, it's all inside of it too. It also looks kind of cool. It has kind of this tribal crisscross look to it. Actually, kind of personalizes the mask a little bit in my opinion. And you could use any color 275 cord you wanted. One of the reasons I selected the 275 cord is because, notice it's not bending the actual mask. If I used 550, it would actually pull on the mask hard enough because of its diameter to kind of bend and flex all those little bars in there. And over time, it would kind of hold that shape and look funny if I ever took this out for paintball purposes. Uh, but the 275 cord doesn't do that. It doesn't bend the mask at all, but it closes the holes up nicely. So that was at least my solution. You can come up with your own or copy mine but as long as you plug those holes in some way you should be good to go for airsoft with this mask that's all i have for you guys instagram links in the description as always like and subscribe and have a nice day